good Sunday morning, everyone. Welcome to After Another Adventure. It's a beautiful day here in Kentucky. Today, we're going to set up the Starlink. We received it uh, a couple weeks ago. Just haven't had time to really mess with it. And uh, took it out of the box, looked at it, you know. And now we're going to hook it up in the camper and see what type of downloads, uploads that we can get. And see how easy it is to set up with the app on the iPhone or your Samsung, whatever device you're using. I'm using the iPhone. Check everything out, check it out, and uh, follow the app. We're gonna have to scan the sky, see where the best position is for the uh, Starlink itself, and we'll go from there. So, let's do this. All right, this is about everything that comes in. And it's just like this. This is your directions. Pretty plain and simple. The packaging is pretty brilliant. This is your base. This is your Starlink, which goes inside the base. Make sure you line up the uh, notch. Just slide down, locks into place. That's what it looks like. All right. Get 75 feet of cord. This will hook up to your router and your Starlink itself. This is your AC cord. Probably could have made it a little bit longer, but we'll deal with it. Extension cords always work. And this is your router. You have two connections, one for your AC, one for your router and uh, Starlink. That's it. Now you can buy additional uh, routers and uh, cable. I bought a uh, 150 foot extra just in case if we ever needed it for in the woods. All right, I'm gonna take the AC, connect it into my router this is the uh, connecting end. It has a really good seal for it too. But this must stay inside. Alright, this is the connector for the uh, router and for the Starlink. And then this is the connector for the Starlink. It just slides right in to the T. Then line the notch up. Voila. Now I need to find a place to plug this router in. So I have one right here. All right, make sure that the uh, little light on the bottom is lit. Just situating this right here for right now. All right, Starlink is going through its motions since I uh, opened up the app. And we're going to start setup. Select your Starlink. I have the RV. It's $110 a month. Confirm. Alright, now I'm going to have to go outside 
and scan the entire sky and find an open spot. Okay, I'm gonna set the star starlink right here and see what we can get. All right, I found a location over here. Not sure how well you're gonna see, be able to see this, but we'll give it a try. Scan the entire sky. Point your camera up. View results. Okay, it's downloading. Choose set up Starlink here. All right, found a location over here. I uh, see why you might need a hundred feet or more. All right. gonna try here right now and uh, I'm gonna get a flagpole that I can mount to this and mount to the uh, toy hauler so we can get it up in the air but I just want to see how it's gonna work today all right back online I'm gonna check my speed Well, it's pretty fast. All right, let's do the uh, Wi-Fi and Starlink speech. All right, it says that it'll take up to six hours not collecting data on obstructions. So, we'll come back to that range. All right, so I'm going to go walk around and I'll come back and see what the range is. All right, looking at this range, 
all the green dots are the range. The darker they are, the better the range. But we're outside walking around. We're gonna check the range out. been really really cold lately and today is just fantastic now the, I mentioned that this ran $110 a month that's for the months that you use it you can pause it at any time when you're not using it and that's why we really went for this to use with the RV. And that uh, we're able to use it and not use it and shut it down, not have to pay for it. That is so cool. We got a Wi Fi booster in here, but it never works unless you have something to ping off of. And you pay for that, and it's crazy. All right, let's view results. Average signal, excellent, 81, 82%. I was just walking around. It's pretty cool. So, the uh, yellow oranges is a uh, poor signal and uh, the dark green is great. Network. I can have 11 devices hooked up to this. Snow melt. Hmm. Preheat. Oh my gosh. Check this out. You can't see it, but it has automatic preheat. You get snow on your Starlink, it'll melt it off. You don't have to go outside and brush it off. It's so cool. Shop and support. I really like this. Uh, um, the unit is a little over $500, and then you can buy additional accessories. You can buy a pole, you can buy mounts to mount it on your house or wherever you want to. Uh, to um, so, and they're not cheap, believe it or not. Uh, that's where they get you. But uh, I give this a five. I give this a thumbs up. Wow, I really like this unit. Starlink it's, it's really got something going on. Um, like I said, it's... A little over five hundred dollars. You add uh, additional accessories to it, flagpole mounts to your house, you know, so um, to your roof, side. You can just go online, look at all the different mounts, and give you the price. Shipping's pretty quick. Uh, um, I think it took about a week to get the uh, Starlink, um, and uh, another week for my accessories. So, like it, um, I got a hundred and fifty foot uh, cord for it instead of the, using the 75 which I might need depending on where I go but I give this a five I give this a thumbs up this is great this is really gonna let us do stuff when we're out in the boondocks we don't have any type of signal not even with our vehicle which has Wi-Fi so the satellite will be able to pick it up and we'll be good to go and I uh, we can download uh, stream to our smart tv we can uh, upload videos download whatever we need to do maps everything our next designation i'm really happy with this so um enjoy your sunday happy trails and we'll see you in february um 14th or the 17th mid mid february everts and i are gonna go uh, uh tent camping and uh, so hopefully the weather cooperates. We'll have to see how it is. But again, happy trails. Be safe. Be humble.